Okay. Hello. I'm Fergus. I'm Fergus. Admins, and I'm here with with Rob from Rob. I'm Hello from Rob. Canada. Nice to see you again. It's yeah. good to see you again, Fergus. It's, it this is gonna like, be smooth as anything. Yeah. Reverse. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be quite professional looking, I, I suspect. Uh, I, I, I think you'll get a, a couple of offers for a, a job on TV after this, Rob, I think. Are you froze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mark Dredge takes all of the... Uh, oh. No, you're back. Are we back? Good. Yes, this, back. This is going to look... This is going to look so good. Yeah. Um, I think we probably just, just plow into it. So, yeah. Um, plow into it. A few it, weeks yeah. ago... Yeah. A few weeks ago, I got a lovely invite from Bruce some Beer. Um, you got a lovely invite to come down and help us drink some beer uh, yeah. in London. Um, we just snuck in before the before the lockdown in the pubs. Uh, we did. It was a very good night. It was. I enjoyed that actually. It was probably the last night in a pub I've been to. I think. Yeah, um, mine too. And I got to share it with someone who I've known for sixteen years. God, uh, and the rest. Sixteen years. This guy, sixteen years. Yeah, it's been a long time, but fortunately, you managed to get some put into some cans for us, which was good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So obviously, the original idea was it was going to be mostly in cask beer, um, and it was sort of a a, a, a re a reintroduction for you back into cask beer because it's been a while since you brewed any, um, and it was sort of to celebrate Ghost since, Ship's yeah. ten years. Yeah, to celebrate Ghost Ship's ten years and also Camden Town's sort of ten year anniversary as well. Uh, so we sort of combined the. Just to remind people, I'm sure I'm sure we've talked about it enough, but just to combine the the best characteristics of Hells and the and the best characteristics of, of Ghost Ship, uh, so we ended up with a, a sort of Citra a Citra Lager really. Um, and you've obviously got some there. I've got some here. I've I've got my best uh, Teiku tasting glass, um, so I can really accentuate the hoppy flavours. But I think yeah, we've got a, like the citrus the Citra. Um, Aromas, the grapefruit, a little bit of, I think you said elderflower before as well. Yeah, I, I, for citra for me, I'll, it's always that combination of, cit of sort of the citrus and grapefruit and that elderflower characteristic I really like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, um, it's one of the hops we use in a few of our other beers as well, but um, using it as 100% a, as, a as the aroma hop. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's got a lovely um, sort of light golden color, so a little bit of that light Pilsner malt. Obviously, yeah. yeah, looking. I can see, can it, see it very yeah. nice. Let's find a glass for it. Yeah. But yeah, that light gold, so Pilsner malt and caramel in there. Um, real nice biscuity character to it. A little yeah, bit yeah, lighter. it does. It gives, it gives the hop a nice, a nice sort of malt base to sit on. Uh, and I think we often, we often get a bit too simplistic about beers being either hoppy or malty or, or whatever, but actually I think it's, it's always about balance. And this has got a really, a really nice balance. Of, of that sort of malt character and that and that hot character as well. Yeah, yeah, really refreshing, but not not sort of not over bitter as well. So we didn't go crazy with the pearls. Are pearls the hot we use in uh, in Hells and actually in a few of our other beers for bittering because it gives us a really mellow, um, clean but not overpowering bitterness. Which yeah. this one's sort of lined that up perfectly with the malt. So I think it's balance is a really is is a word yeah i think that's right it's a word we don't use often in making beer no it's, um, it's almost it's sometimes used as a negative thing if, if something's got balance it's seen as boring and, and and downplayed but actually i think this has got lots of character but it's still balanced yeah yeah i would agree completely with that and given it's two o'clock in the afternoon uh, and i shouldn't really be finishing this off yeah. um i think i might finish it off but actually i might might just say this is the weekend beginning now yeah, I, th I think you're. I think you're right, Rob. I think the weekend has has started a bit early, uh, but yeah. But it's it's been lovely brewing with you again, Rob. It's been quite a few years, as you as you alluded to earlier. Um, <laughs> it's been really nice, and I must come down and see and see you at Camden when all this opens up. Yeah, that's it. And I can I can even show you a little view of what we've got looking out here. If you can see the lovely green and uh, pastures out there, the river. It's a uh, view out here so when 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 we can we'll make sure we get you an invite to come down and brew with us down here yeah no and, and you're obviously welcome to come back again uh, and, and have a look at our views in the <laughs> across the sea as well um 
which I can't show you because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the office. Yeah. Uh, I can show you our little pile of kit, which is there. Which you didn't get to, you didn't get to, I don't, yeah, you didn't play with it when you were here last time. Uh, but that's our, that's our little pile of kit in our tasting room. No. Um, but I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I've got to come up to the tasting room. But, um, yeah, I, that's, I remember yeah. you in the tasting room. I don't remember you doing any work, but yeah, you were definitely in the tasting room. Well, you did, you found, uh, you found some hells from about six years ago. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'll be extending the shelf life on our place to six years. No. So, uh, let's put it that way. With that. No. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, but well, no, great, great to share a beer with you. It's probably the best way anyone can share beer at the minute. So, yeah. Um, yeah. To that. All right, Rob. Um, thanks again for coming to brew with us. Um, and we'll catch you up again when this all this opens up. Cheers. Excellent. Cheers.